Okay, now we're at the point where the fun really begins. What we're going to cover is how to pin it. There are several different ways to pin, specifically three ways. One, you can pin, a, pin from a website, you can, unload, you can upload a pin from your hard drive, or you can choose to repin something that's already been pinned on Pinterest. What we're going to do right here is, let's do the first way I mentioned. Let's go ahead and go to a website. I'm going to go to one of my websites right here. Uh, I see this website right here, Houston Classified Ad. Now, you'll see up here, I have a pin it button. Now, when you set up your account, there's, Pinterest also gives you some instructions on how to add that pin up button. It's pretty simple to do. It's not a hard thing. Basically, drag and drop, and then you can put it in there. It's really based on what what browser you have, whether you have Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Google Chrome, or, or some other type of browser. So I'm going to also assume that you've already done that, and you've done, and you've um, you have your pin it button. So we're at my website, or at any website. This can be your website, or it can be any other website where you find something that you're attracted to or that you like. Now I want to stress one thing. Yes, you want to pin things from your own site, but you don't want to have that the primary focus. I would say maybe 10% of the pins that you would do, fine, do them on from your own website. But you want to have unique content. You want to have content from other places. So this is one way to do it. I can say it could very easily be your blog or, or a website. Maybe you're, you're selling soaps or you're selling perfumes or something like that. Or you have a, a consulting service, whatever it might be you can go ahead and pin something. And what that will do is create a backlink to your site. So now we're at, at this site, the Classified Ads website. I'm going to click on the Pin It button. And as you see, immediately what comes up is a bunch of different graphics. It found these graphics on here. Uh, I tell you what, I'll go ahead and pin this one. I'm going to click here. And a window comes up. And you might want to put in what area that it's in. I'll say free stuff because this is a free classified ad. And let's see, make sure you want to put your key keywords in here. And make sure it is spelled correct too. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and add hashtag. Okay, and I'm also going to click on, I want to put it on Twitter. Now, there's something that different, and you'll see that it happens when you want to put it on Twitter. Now, make sure you're logged in to your Twitter and also logged into your Facebook account as well. So I clicked here and then I send it to Twitter. So now I click pin it. And it also gives you a limit. I believe it's 500 uh, characters that you can put in this box. Now, because it's going to Twitter, you don't have to worry about going over that 500 character limit because what Pinterest does is they actually create their own URL which will shorten it out for you. So let's go ahead and click pin it. Now I click pin it. Now it says tweet your pin. So I click tweet my pin. It takes me over to my webs to uh, excuse me to Twitter. And you notice as this, as you see in here, it actually shortened it out what I said. And I click to tweet it. And now what I've done is I've also created a backlink. Now if we go over here and look at the tweets that went, as you see, there it is right there. So I click on it here, and it takes me to the graphic when somebody clicks on this. Now this also created a backlink to my website. So somebody clicks on that, it takes them right to the website. So one, you created a powerful backlink, and you're also creating more traffic to your website. Now, another way to use it to pin, let's say you're on your, yeah, you click, you see right over here to the right, you click the add button. You can choose the add pin. Now, if you click add pin, basically you'll put in a web address. Let's see, I'll put in, let's see, flower, flowers.com. Just say putting something in that arbitrary that there. And what it does is it'll look at that website, 
and it'll pull up whatever kind of images or what images it can find. Ah, there we go. Found a, found an image right there. And I can click, as you see next, uh, it'll, it'll scroll the images, and I can decide which one I want. And I'll say, okay, I'll go ahead and click that. You can choose to put a hashtag or not if you want. And you click it in the category, or rather the board that I've created, and we'll cover boards as well. And you can go ahead and click on the Twitter again. Let's see, I'll show you right here. Notice it does it again. Now notice this time when I told it to, to do it on Twitter, it didn't pop up that screen where I had to click it because I started out at the Pinterest board. And as you can see, there's it. Now let's say if we go to Pinterest, uh, give it a few minutes and something will pop up. Uh, we'll come back to it. Uh, there we go, five new pins. Okay, sometimes it's a little delayed because the boards get really busy, but it'll come up in your stream. And also, if you notice over here to the left, this shows your recent activity. That shows people that are pinning your boards or following you or, or what's happening, and you can keep track of that as well. Now, there's also another way to pin. Let's say you want to upload a pin. This is when you can actually find a graphic, something on your board, on your um. Okay, nice pictures here. I'll pick out another flower. I happen to be in here. Let's say, we'll, we'll put something that I'm pretty sure I didn't put up yet. We'll put this here. And now that's something that I've loaded from my hard drive. And as you see, it pulls it up. And that's some kind of artwork. And I can I'm going to go head on and click pin it. And again, you can click Twitter. I'm not going to send this one. It's, well, it's, it's unique. People might like that. So you want to get more exposure. You want to get things that people are going to be visually attracted to. So I'll go ahead on and click it, send it to Twitter. And I'll click pin. Now, there's one other thing you have to do when you pin from your hard drive. Okay. You want to click edit. And then you want to put in a link. So you might want to put the link as to where it originated from whoever with the original artwork from okay in this particular case because this is a public domain I'm just going to go ahead on and link it back to my blog and then you click save pen and as quickly as that it, it's being pinned up there Okay, there it is right there. It pinned it up already. And you notice how quickly it's moving. There's six pins right there. I click the six pins and it scrolls everything else and it moves it down. Now, the other way to pin something is let's say you're on Pinterest website, Pinterest website, and you just happen to see something like you like. Okay, here's something lemon roasted peanuts. I'm going to like it. And then I'm going to go ahead on and repin it and put it in the board that I want, which I created, which was food I like. And as you see, it repinned it. When these come out, when it shows some reactive recent activity, it'll show that in there. Data it'll show where. Now let me show you my board. We'll go to boards over to the right. And remember, it was in food that I like. So we go to what oh, I have here, food I like right here. Now notice, too, these numbers that you see under here. It shows how many times the items in your particular board were pinned. See? And we'll discuss board arrangement because there's a specific reason to why I have the board arranged as it is. But we get into the food that you like. And there it is. Now I click on the image. Here, and when somebody clicks on it. Now, I want to make one other point. And this is also part of the SEO. One thing you want to do is put a call to action because you want to give people 
You want to tell people, hey, click on this. But if you notice, whoever did this originally, they have the hashtags right there. And they also have the keyword, also lemon potatoes. And when I click on this, I bet you it'll go to a site that has the recipe on it. There you go. We're at Sweet Peas Kitchen. So whoever Sweet Peas Kitchen is, they just got another backlink created to their website, which will help their Alexa ranking, and which happens to be a blog. And there you have it. Basically, that's how you pin.